Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a pregnancy of about 14 weeks with a large ovarian endometrioma. You can see the fetus lying transversely with the head of the fetus lying on the left hand side of the mother. This is the fetal head. And this is abdomen of the fetus. During pregnancy, the ovarian endometrioma generally decreases in size and occasionally ruptures. A general consensus is that ovarian endometrioma larger than 4 cm should be removed, but both to reduce pain and to improve spontaneous conception rates. The presence of small endometriomas, that is 2 to 4 cm, doesn't re reduce the success of in vitro fertilization, IVF treatment. Our study has shown, a study has shown that pregnancy has a major effect on the biolog biological behavior of ovarian endometriomas. The majority of the cysts decreases in size during pregnancy with the rate of regression being particularly high in, decidual, in decidualized endometriomas. Ovarian cysts usually do not cause any problem during pregnancy, though if a cyst continues to grow, it might rupture or twist or cause the ovary, ovary to twist. This twisting is called ovarian torsion. A growing cyst could cause problems during childbirth, particularly if it is a large mass obstructing the abdomen or pelvis. Now this ovarian endometrioma is quite a large endometrioma and it is supposed to cause multiple complications. In the case of ovarian endometrioma, in particularly they can continue to grow larger each month as they become filled with old blood and other cellular debris. As a result, chronic and severe inflammation, infections, formation of scar tissue, and that is adhesions, fibrotic tissue, and the abscesses can ensue. If not in treated, Endometriomas can lead to complications such as infertility, debilitating pelvic pain, adhesions, and ovarian cysts. Now you can see the ovarian endometrioma is quite large in this case. An extensive study presented at the European Society of Human Reproduction and Embryological, Embryology in 2015 noted that women with endometrioma, endometriosis at a greater has are at a greater risk of experiencing miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy. While it is still possible to get pregnant, endometrioma, endometriosis does decrease fertility. 30 to 40 percent of women with endometriosis may struggle with infertility. Talk to your doctor about 
treatment options that are available for endometriosis and to help meet your individual fertility goal. If the cyst gets so big, it prevents the baby's head from engaging in the pelvis. The doctor may insert a needle to drain it when you are close to your due date. If this is successful, you should be able to give birth naturally. Endometriosis is a condition in which endometrium-like tissue grows in locations outside the uterus. When endometriosis occurs in the ovary, endometri endometriotic cells can form a menstrual fluid-filled sac. This is called endometrioma. Endometriotic or chocolate cyst due to the appearance of old blood pigmentation. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button.